Moments ago, the Senate returned to our full 100-person strength as Nebraska's new junior senator took the oath of office. The Cornhusker State expects a lot from its leaders. For the last eight years, Nebraskans could rest easy knowing they had Deb Fisher and Ben Sass on the job here in Washington. And during that same time, of course, they also had an outstanding leader even closer to home. As Governor Pete Ricketts applied private sector savvy to the work of public administration uh, with great effect. He secured for Nebraska families and small businesses the biggest tax relief in that state's history. He championed parents' rights and defended civics education. And in the face of a global pandemic, he built his state's response on common sense, saving lives, but also safeguarding livelihoods, preserving liberties, and protecting kids' educations all at the same time. The people of Nebraska chose wisely in electing and re-electing Governor Ricketts by huge margins. And their new governor chose wisely in sending his predecessor here to this chamber. I know I speak for the entire Senate in extending a warm welcome to Senator Ricketts and his wife, Suzanne. Pete, we're glad to have you here on the team. <laughs> 